devastated. Watch this. This this beloved uh, song, Psalm 136, is a special song. And, yeah. and watch it. It is written in such a significant manner uh, that, that he or she who reads it uh, will not be confused of the purpose of its writing. Yeah. Uh, if you pay attention to this particular psalm, it has 26 verses in it. And watch it in the B clause of every verse. It, it says, for his mercy endure forever this this beloved of God it is is powerful that phrase is one that's repeated various times throughout the Old Testament watch it you you find it all through the Hebraic writing and and, and while some may look at this a uh, saying or this phrase and they may skim past it they may not recognize the power in it this particular psalm was written as a call and response between the priests or the Levite and the congregation that were gathered into the temple. Let me see if I can make this make sense. So verse number one he says, oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good and the people would respond y'all missed y'all chance. He says, oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and the people would respond Oh, verse number two, he says, he says, oh, give thanks to the God of gods. Y'all got it. I knew somebody went to school and here watch it. It's done 26 times for each particular verse. It is written in this manner. Watch this so that there is full participation in the worship setting between the preacher and the people. Let me help you real quickly. This is not meant to be a one man show. It's not meant to be a concert or a performance but worship is meant to be participation between the preacher and the people that's why David could say I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord because he recognized when he got there he wasn't going to be the only y'all let me come around this way he recognized he wasn't going to be the only one who had something to say he knew when he graced the gates of the sanctuary those who came in and gathered they were there for the same reason he was David came because the Lord was good and the people came because the Lord is good. Y'all gonna make me shout in here. So when David gathered and the people gathered, they had one purpose in mind. It was to participate and to praise. Shucks in here. They had the musicians. They, they had the singers. But when the preacher stood up, it wasn't just the musicians. It wasn't just the singers. But every y'all shucks in here. And everybody came together and worshiped. Unto the Lord for his mercy endure forever. Watch it. Watch it. This phrase is powerful. You, you find it written not just in Psalms, but it's in Chronicles. First Chronicles 16, 41 on David's day. It's in, it's in Second Chronicles at the dedication of Solomon's temple. It's sung by the Levites after they defeated the Ammonites in Second Chronicles. Y'all missing me in here. This particular phrase is mentioned multiple times. Watch it. I tell you this all the time. Anytime you see something repeated more than once, that means it's significant. It's not that we serve a repetitive God, but sometimes we need a reminder of how good God is. And, and it's almost like your mama telling you, I told you, don't touch the stove. You know, I told you, don't go that way. I told you, and, and watch it sometime. We have to be reminded. To worship, I know it's a sad scenario when you really look at it. Nobody should have to remind you to worship God because if you look at your hands, they move. If you if you pat your feet, they can pat. If you open up your mouth, you got a voice. That means the Lord is good. Yeah, I'm about to lose it in here. Watch it. It's repeated for the sake of emphasis. This is a powerful song. It's known as the Great Hallel or the Great Psalm of Praise. It's written so that there will be praise between the people and the preacher unto the master. Watch it. He says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. This is powerful because it reminds us that if nothing else, you ought to tell God, thank you. Thank you. And I tell you, sometimes we get so messed up 
and mixed up because we look for fancy words and fancy sayings to try to talk to God, to try to describe God, to try to relate with God. But can I tell you, thank you is good. Matter, matter of fact, thank you work just fine. Matter, matter of fact, if you learn how to say thank you, you wouldn't feel so guilty asking for something else. If, if you just go ahead and tell God thank you for yesterday, you can ask him for something new today. If you, if you tell God thank you for what he's already, oh shucks, I almost lost it right there. If you tell him thank you for what he's already done, then you ain't gonna have a problem asking him for something else. Watch this text. The Bible says yes. It, oh, give thanks. This, watch this. It is a worship exercise, Meiji. It's exercise between the people, the preacher, and God. Watch this. It says, oh, give thanks for he is good, his mercy, and do it forever. But watch it. Eugene Peterson pins the message Bible. I like it because, oh, Eugene Peterson, he speak my language. He, you know, he cut slang sometimes. He say it in layman's terms. Watch this. Peterson says, Tell him thank you. Yeah. He said, he says, tell him thank you. He said, matter of fact, he deserves your thank you. This, this beloved of God should bless you because when you really think about it, you didn't wake you up. When, when you really think about it, you didn't pay your bills. When, when you really think about it, you didn't heal you. When, when you really look at your situation, you didn't bring you out what you put you in. But if it had not been. Oh, shucks in here. For the Lord who is on our side, Peterson says, he deserves. I thank you. I love it because Peterson reminds us that God is deserving of our gratitude. Watch it. He says, not only is he good, but he's greater than good. Matter of fact, he's not just good and greater than good, but God is the sustainer of good. Y'all just miss what I say. And not only is he good, but he is greater than good. Not only is he greater than good, but he's the sustainer of the greater of the good. Y'all still sleep. God is good unto us. Watch it. His mercy or his love never quits. This declaration of God to his people proclaims that his mercy, watch it, has no expiration date. Woo! This is my part right here because some of us think that, that God is only going to be good today but, but the Bible declares that his mercy shuts in here and endures forever. That means what God has for you is for you today and for tomorrow. His mercy Lord have mercy. It endures forever. This is considered a prophetic declaration. Why? Because we can't see the future, but we trust who holds it. Yes, we, we don't know what's around the corner. We don't know what's going to happen when the sun go down and rise again. But we have faith Shucks. in the God that we serve. Watch this. I got to get out of here. He says his mercy endures forever. Watch it. This word mercy is translated into he said in the Hebrew, which means that it's a combination between his grace and his loyalty to his covenant to the people. Go ahead, Ty. Catch what I just said. This particular phrase literally means that God is gracious unto us. Yes. Watch it. And he's loyal to the covenant that he made. with Y'all still ain't caught this yet. He, he loves us. He's gracious toward us. And he's loyal to the... Y'all still ain't got it because, because our loyalty only lies where the dollars is. Our, our loyalty only lies where the other man or other woman is. But he says, my loyalty lies with the covenant promise made with the people. What's the promise? I'll never leave you. Yes, I'll never leave you. Lord, I'll never forsake you. Lord, help your boy in here. We should give God all that we have because God has been loyal unto us. He promised he'd never leave us, nor forsake us. He told us he'll be with us always, even unto the ends of the earth. Matter of fact, he shows us that he'll never quit. I gotta go. I gotta. 
I got to go. I didn't mean to stand here this long, but but sometime the word of God resonated and it bubbled over in your spirit. I'm like that old song when you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah, thank you for blessing me. His, his love never quits. When we quit, his love stands still. When we walk away, his love walks to us. When we throw in the towel, the Lord catches it and brings it back unto us. He loves us. Yes. <laughs> oh Lord. And he keeps us. You do know. That the Lord. Loves you. Yeah, you, you, you do know that the Lord, he cares for you. You, you do know yeah, that his mercy yeah, is never ending. Yeah. Hear me on my priest this morning. Yeah. When the Lord yeah, says he got you, yeah, he does not let you down. Yeah. He's a man of his word. Yeah. He's a God of integrity. Yeah. If he says, uh, yeah. I got your back, yeah. you'll never yeah. have to look over your shoulder. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. The Lord we serve yeah, is a great God, yeah. and he's able yeah, to do all things but fail. Yeah. I gotta leave you now. Yeah. The Lord, yeah, he loves us. Yeah. He's merciful unto us, and he cares for us. Watch this now. When we tried to walk away from us, the Lord, he ran toward us. When we tried to leave God behind, he snuck up behind us, and he carried us. Thank you. Lift up your hand and 
of all of our praise it ought to be somebody out here tearing this parking lot up because it was supposed to be you you got the diagnosis cancer was supposed to kill you the virus was supposed to take you out but look at you now the Lord kept his hand all over you is there anybody here that's been blessed by God is so good can we be honest that when even when we tried to quit him he wouldn't quit us my pastor told us some years ago you only still here because God didn't let you get too far away from him y'all still ain't catching me watch this a God who knows no sin discovers you in sin the God that knows no sin comes into your sinful den and gets you the God that knows no sin assumes sin and that you all have mercy dies for you can I tell you something God is deserving of our praise he is worthy of our praise He's done it all while we just coasted by. But don't you think it's about time you gave God what you owed him? Don't you think it's about time you worshiped him like you meant it? Don't you think it's about time that you honored God for all that he's done for you? It's September. We had just surpassed five months of not being able to gather together in our sanctuary for the fear of spreading the virus that can take us out with the touch watch this Michigan alone has hit 100,000 cases over 9,000 almost 10,000 deaths watch this we all know somebody who's been infected we all know somebody who slipped out of here. Yeah. But watch it. He kept you. Yes, he did. You're still here. Yes. Can we be honest? Yes. We done still had to go to the store. We still had to go to the doctor. Yes. We still had to pick up groceries. We still had to go out the door. Yes. And every time we went out, the Lord has covered us. Yes, Even in coming in contact with people who were infected the Lord covered can't tell me God ain't good and he's worthy of our praise do me a favor you got you got about 30 good seconds to just worship God for how good he is you got about 30 good seconds just to lift your hands just just to lift your voice just to tell God thank you some of us ain't praise God since the last time we were here you better tell God thank you while you're still here for he is worthy you got about 20 seconds left just tell him thank you just tell him thank you thank you Lord for all that you've done for us thank you for keeping us
this is for somebody who almost gave up right now. Can we just be transparent for just a minute? All of us have had a day where we just wanted to quit. All of us have had a moment in the midst of this mess where we just wanted to throw in the towel. Can we be honest? We tried to drink it away. We done took every pill in the cabinet. We done tried to smoke it away. We done tried to get in the car and drive away. We tried to walk out the house and run away. But watch this. You don't have to run away. You don't have to flee from it. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And that means if he did it for you yesterday, he's powerful enough to do it for you today. If he handles your today, he loves you enough to handle your tomorrow. Can I tell you what to do? Don't give up. Don't, don't, don't give in. Don't put the gun to your head and pull the trigger. Don't empty the pill bottle. Don't get the razor blade. Don't put all your business on social media. Find you a prayer closet. Lord have mercy. Listen, your prayer closet might be in your driver's seat. Your, your prayer closet might be in the midst of your steamy shower. Your, your prayer closet might be in your basement next to the broom and the dustpan. Find you a secret place. <laughs> Tell God all about what you're going through. I used to sing a song when I was a little boy in the church. It said, just a little talk with Jesus. Make everything all right. You know what I found out, Regina? God handled everything I told him about. But some of the stuff I told y'all about, y'all laughed at me and walked away. But the stuff that I told God about, he handled it. You do know, if you trust him with it, he will handle it. Might not be when you want him to, but it's always when you need him to. Turn it over to him. Trust him with it. Try him with it. The songwriter told us, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Can, can I tell you this? I promise you we done. You do know it wasn't you that kept you yesterday. It was his mercy. You, you do know it, it. It wasn't no plan that you made. It was his mercy that kept you his mercy that he promises will always be there is available right now all you gotta do is call upon him my, my late great grandmama Annie Lee Porter told us some years ago you didn't have to be fancy in your prayer sometime all you had to do was say Lord have mercy and that was enough for God to hear and to handle what you are going through. Can we be honest? Sometimes, Lord, Lord, have mercy is a long statement. When tears in your eyes and misery is in the pit of your throat, sometimes all you can muster is mercy. I just believe that even in the mercy plea, Brother Andrews, the Lord will respond to your pleas. Listen. We'd be remiss if we didn't take a moment and extend an invitation because not everybody that gathers is really saved. Some people just come because they think it's a show. Some people just show up because they nosy. But we extend an invitation to you if you just want to get to know God, if you want to rededicate your life to God. Or even if you're just seeking prayer and a real relationship with them, this invitation is for you. We don't want to leave here and somebody's still wondering how they're going to make it. I want you to leave here with blessed assurance that God has got you covered. Do me a favor, just look at your neighbor, just look at him, say, neighbor, you all right? Just, just look at him, just say, neighbor, you all right? Just ask him. Don't be afraid to ask him, neighbor, everything all right? I ain't seen you in a while. You doing all right? Check on your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you and God still good? You, you, you and God still on the same page? Just ask your neighbor, everything straight? 
You and God is good, and y'all on the same page, in the same book, in the same line. Put your hands together. Yes, sir. Bless God for what he has done for us. To us, I do us. Praise us. out of the sanctuary right now uh, we want to be able to, want, want you to be able to be a blessing we certainly thank all of you who continuously use givelify every week we certainly thank you for it it has certainly been a blessing to our church i must be sweet this be will be alone uh, we certainly uh, thank you all for continuing to support the ministry every week uh, i see some of your names pop up every week uh, every other week and so I thank you the church certainly thanks you and blesses you uh, for being a blessing if you need an envelope uh, Brother Jameson has some if you need an envelope uh, we, we have some available amen amen we certainly thank you for being a blessing we certainly thank you for being a blessing Sacrifice 
But God, be so gracious unto us to restore it, even some 100 fold in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank you uh, for participating in our giving and in our worship. We're going to move quickly uh, and prepare for our uh, Holy Communion. Spark, you should have told him to come get it. He's take it all the way over there. He all across the street. <laughs> He's trying to be special. He doesn't start paying tithes. He wants you to bring the communion to him. He can't be going all the way. <laughs> you all right with me, Smooth. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody fool you. Listen, while we're preparing, I want you all to take note on next week, on next week, uh, we will be having our Women's Day on next week. Uh, we'll be having our Women's Day on next week. Uh, a great friend of mine, Evangelist Jackie Johnson, will be here at 9.30. Now listen, I, I, I tried to make this clear. I don't want you all to think that the doors are closed to everybody. We just can't let everybody uh, come in and so I don't want you to think that you can't come in but we do have to be mindful to not overpopulate the sanctuary right now we can hold about 20 people uh, and still practice social distancing and so we have no problem uh, with you coming but we do have to be mindful to continue to practice social distancing all right so on next week will be women's day on the third Sunday uh, Pastor Kareem Crump from Morning View will be here uh, to celebrate our Men's Day, all right? And again, same thing applies. I'm not telling you that you can't come, but we certainly just want to make sure we're practicing social distancing and represents the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Has everyone been served? again before next week to have them come in uh, and clean again because uh, we want to make sure anytime we bring anybody new in we want to make sure that we're not allowing them to walk into anything uh, as well as covering us coming back in okay and so they will be back uh, before next week uh, to clean and to sterilize the building one more time all right and so you all continue to be prayerful like the lord ain't told me what day to just open the doors and everybody come back in yet i pay attention to what the lord say i pay attention to what the numbers say and what the news is saying and i'm looking out for us and making sure that we are safe and that we are uh, kept healthy as best as we can. Amen. Amen. Come on up here, Deacon Mulder. Come join us up here, Deacon Barry. You all, uh, you all know how we do this first Sunday. And so we want to make sure that we we do our communion like we normally do. Amen. 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 You all come on up here, Deacon Young. I didn't even know who you was, man. I thought you was Bob Marley hiding back there. Amen. Amen. Everybody had their communion. Everybody able to open their communion? All right. On the night that the Lord was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body which is broke for you. This do remembers of me. Let us all commune together. In the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this as often you drink it and remember to me. Let us communicate. Amen. The Bible says that after they had left the upper room, they went out into the Mount of Olives singing and rejoicing, making melody in their heart how good uh, the Lord has been unto them. And so listen, when you leave here today, you ought to leave here rejoicing uh, and knowing that the Lord is still good and he has been good and he has been a blessing unto us. I don't want you all to leave uh, just yet. 
We're getting ready to dismiss, but I, I want especially our seniors uh, to stay because we have food that was being delivered unto us to serve unto you all, to be a blessing to you all uh, during this time. And so uh, I don't want you all to just run out just yet, all right? Uh, but we certainly want to be a blessing to you uh, before we dismiss. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Amen. Amen. Listen, do me a favor real quick. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Rev. It's good to see you. It's so good to see that the Lord is not just at my house, but he done made it by your house. And that he continues to cover and keep you all uh, as well. Amen. Amen. Come on to your feet. Come on to your feet. We get ready to, to dismiss. spirit and power divine thank you for allowing us to gather and to share in your word in worship we ask god for your continued protection and provision around us and on us we ask that you keep us safe keep us healthy god protect us walk with us everywhere we go matter of fact god go before us come behind us cover us on every open side keep us from hurt harm and danger both seen and unseen we know that you can and we believe that you will now may the love of god the sweet communion of his holy spirit may the rest rule and abide with us henceforth and now and forevermore the believer shouts amen 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 god bless you god keep